By now, I'm sure you've seen all the reviews. Maybe. This release was insipid. I believe that's the right word according to the thesaurus. So if you haven't seen much on this gun, I don't blame you. People have been saying, it's smoother, it's quieter, it's more efficient, man, it's more ego than it's ever been. Well, is this true? I mean, the e techs have always been in the shadow of its older, more defined, more prestigious brother. Putting the obvious aside for a moment, the e tech 5 narrowed the gap, dare I say almost closed the gap between the mid-end intermediate titled marker and pro-level marker that's seen in every paintball circuit today. The Planet sent us an early version of the E-Tech months before release. We thought it was going to be a new Etha, honestly. I think it's a new Planet mid-level marker, like a new E-Tech or a new Etha. Here you go. What do you, what do you think it is? I still think it's uh, a new Etha. We were pretty psyched. We didn't think the E-Tech line needed a new generation. Well, not yet, I suppose. So, is it true? Is it smoother compared to the E-Tech of yesterday? Yeah, that's, uh, that's not an E-Tech. That's not an E-Tech at all. Holy <laughs> Wow, it's great. Yeah, it does. Oh, wow. It shoots great. That feels fantastic. Seems so. Is it quieter? e techs and Egos do have that signature bang, and hearing paintball markers over the internet, that compressed audio has never done justice, but I will say, yes, it is quieter. So you kind of have to take my word for it. It's more of like a rolling thud now instead of a bang. Trust me, this makes a lot more sense when it's actually in your hands and you're pulling the trigger in anger. Is it more efficient? Well, compared to previous models, yes. Is it more ego than E-Tech? Eh, based purely on aesthetics. <laughs> yeah, no, E-Tech 5. Oh, that's 5? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, obviously. Both of these guns basically even weigh the same. The LV-1 comes in at 936 grams, or for us Americans, 2.02 pounds, and the E-Tech comes in at 2.2 pounds, or 1,000 grams. There are lengths, heights, and widths are basically identical. But it's like what your mom always told you. It's what's on the inside that matters, Russell. The E-Tech 5 and the LV share the same DNA. So you can expect the new Zik 3 Rammer, the Cure 5 Bolt, and the SL4 Reg, which is covered up by a form-fitted rubber grip, along with that really cool tuning fork thing that was introduced with the LV-1. It's even made out of the same T6 aluminum, or aluminium. Granted, it has more of the composite feel, but that's because it's a mix of the aluminum and GRN. Aluminum, being the shaft barrel, shaft 4 of course, 
the trigger, and the body. GRN being the frame, feed neck, and the eye covers. Here's something pretty badass. You can put an OLED display in your marker and bam, you now have a screen with numbers and words, which makes your navigation so much easier. No, you don't need an OLED. This upgrade just makes the entire user interface more pleasant. But we'll get to more of this in just a moment. Now that I've gotten all that out of the way, here's what I really want to say. Let me start off by saying that I acknowledge that we, Hustle Paintball, have always praised the E-Tech. And I agree with just about everything we've said about it over the years. It's a great value, a superb value for what you get. But I've always called it the poor man's ego, even when I owned one. The E-Techs are awesome, but I'm a man of class. <laughs> I shoot egos over those posh E-Techs. Been there, done that. But this marker, this new installment to the E-Tech line, it's really something else. After Hustle spent some time with a prototype E-Tech 5 and a production E-Tech 5, we came to the simple conclusion of, wow. A common phrase that was getting tossed around was, they need to throw in more suck. E-Techs of old still had that gap between themselves and the ego. This model, this E-Tech 5, it's a freaking LV-1. Yes, there are differences. There's an inline oops. You don't get that neat onion valve thing. Watch our LV review if you have no idea what I'm talking about. There's no gas pipe. You don't get an adjustable solenoid. No lever, hence lever valve and LV-1. But really, does that matter? And that's the predicament we're in. I keep going back and forth. The LV is a better gun. But the E-Tech is honestly pound for pound. Value-wise, it's probably the best gun of paintball. It really is. Fun fact for you, I had no idea we were rolling when I said that, so talk about honesty. All those extras you get with the LV-1 are incredible. Those features are what make that marker one of the best in the world currently. But some of those killer features can be considered subjective. This might be minor for a lot of people out there, but it's a big deal for me. The E-Tech 5 front grip. I love it. More so than the LV-1s. Hence why I don't shoot LVs. Double, hence why, I still have the factory tags on my own Anomaly LV-1. This gun came out, came out about two years ago or something like that, and I have literally never shot it because of the freaking grip. I can't stand it. Don't judge me, I'm sorry. It's just how it's not flush and it's not as skinny as the E-Tech 5s. I just, I don't like it. The stance and the comfort of, of a paintball marker can make or break it for the user, and in this case, it is that front grip. Plus, the single piece design on the E-Tech 5 is genius. This whole two piece thing with the tab that can break off over time, it's just really annoying. So play any clips. Please take note and do a one piece design on the next LV. Something that's actually a thing is the trigger. Planet triggers are superb, at least in my opinion. Yes, sometimes you hold a marker at a store or a field and the trigger may seem a little wacky, but that's the beauty because they're all adjustable. The E-Tech has three points of adjustment so you can truly customize your trigger to your liking. With that said, I still don't really like the trigger itself. Or should I say how it feels? Having just the magnet instead of the spring-magnet combo makes the trigger pull seem kind of sloppy. It has a plasticky thwack feeling. Of course, I am comparing this to the Ego and Geo though, so please keep that in mind. You E-Tech owners know exactly what I'm talking about, I'm sure. But this may seem weird, I do prefer the E-Tech 4 trigger over this trigger. I don't know why, maybe that's just in my head, who knows. Okay, back to the OLED. It's a drop-in upgrade, and it's a fantastic optional feature. As I'm sure you've noticed by now in this video, we have one. We actually put one in right away when we got it. I mean, why not? It's just another thing that closes that gap, as I said earlier. Is it needed? No, of course not. The stock LED function has worked fine over the years, it gets the job done. It just feels like there should be more E-Tech in the E-Tech 5. When I said we were expecting an Etha in the beginning of the video, I really meant it. The Etha, dude, it needs work. The E-Tech didn't. And by didn't, I mean it didn't need to be better. I feel like Planet needed that large interval between the E-Tech 4 and the LV-1. That was nice. There was a clear as day definition between the two. Obvious physical ones and many internal ones. It was so easy telling people why the LV was technically a way better paintball gun. 
it was easy showing what mid-end and high-end markers looked like. But now, that line is so blurred with the E-Tech 5. I know this is starting to sound like a bad thing, but it couldn't be further from the truth. The fact that the E-Tech 5 without the OLED is less than $600 is unbelievable. So if you're a new player or even a player looking to just move up in the world of paintball markers, I can truly say the E-Tech 5 is one of the two best markers out there currently in this price range. I really think any future possible owners of this marker will be without a doubt stoked to own one. It's tough as nails, easy to maintain because of all the extras you get. I mean, there's the awesome box, the tools, the barrel bag, which is the best in business hands down, oil, the manual. I mean, you guys have seen all this before. Keep in mind, everything factual I've said in this video can be found in the manual and online as well. So be sure to check that stuff out even before you plan to buy to get familiarized. It looks great and last but not least, it shoots like an Ego. An Ego 11 to be exact. Or maybe even a darted Ego 11. I, I guess I kind of did fail to mention how it actually shot throughout this entire video, huh? <laughs> well, better at the end than never, I suppose. You guys know this part, if you're planning on purchasing the E-Tech 5, or maybe that Decay LV1 was more your speed, you can do so at hustlepaintball.com. Social media role, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, the blogs, pbriot.com, subscribe, like, poke, roundhouse kick, upvote, do what you gotta do to, say, to stay up to date at all times everything Hustle Paintball related. Other than that guys, have a good one, and I'll see you when I see you.